the No Fate channel. Checking in on this episode of Dad Snack Session, I am reviewing from GetResBar.com, their Res Bar protein bars. And normally, I don't ever talk about protein bar packaging, but boom, this is designed just like a Nintendo 64 from my childhood. Some of you young pups don't even know what a Nintendo 64 is, but they did a great job not only designing uh, the packaging to kind of mimic the Nintendo 64, but I think they did um, like a Mike Tyson's punch-out kind of version, or that might even be Mario. I, I, I'm a little old, I can't remember if that's considered like a Mike Tyson's punch-out logo type thing, or um, a Mario Brothers type thing. But regardless, this is peanut butter punch out from getresbar.com. They did send us this to me to do a full review and I am gonna do an honest review. So if this is your first time to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and of course use my Amazon affiliate link in the description below because last night my desktop blew up and I am now gonna be on the hook to get a new one so that I can edit this thing and it is gonna cost Boku bucks. So using that Amazon affiliate link does help me out. On this dad snack session, I usually review a healthy snack on every episode to help you decide if it's something that you should have in your house so that when you're on the go, you can throw it in the, on the car, take it with you. You can just put it down quickly, get on with your day. Something to have from time to time. Again, break glass in case of emergency. So let's quickly go over the macros, the ingredients, some of the things that separate this Get Res Bar uh, apart from a lot of the other protein bars. I mean, you go into the grocery store, there's what, 100, 200 different protein bars and flavors. Um, so in terms of the name resbar.com, if you ever played video games, you know when you die, you then get resurrected. So the idea of this protein bar with regards to the name is to simply, boom, kind of wake you up, get you going and get you back on with your day. We've all been there throughout the day. We hit that kind of slump and we just need a pick-me-up, something that tastes good, feels good, kind of chews good, and I haven't even, I don't even know how this thing tastes. I haven't opened it. We're going to do it live on camera, so let's go. One bar is 40 grams, 160 calories, 9 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbohydrates. Of those 16 grams, 7 grams are dietary fiber. That is very, very good. Um, and uh, seven grams of sugar, and then 10 grams are protein. Now for the ingredients, and this is one of the things that I think sets this protein bar apart from a lot of the other junk bars that have a lot of like fake ingredients, for lack of a better term. Here we go. Peanuts, number one on the list. Number two on the list, dates, uh, tapioca fiber, milk protein, milk protein, isolate, peanut butter, bittersweet chocolate, cane sugar, cocoa powder, lecithin, uh, and then magnesium citrate. And this obviously contains milk and peanuts. Need a cheat code? They even put a text number on the back that you can actually get a discount code. But I found a 20% off discount code. That was the best one I could find. Get Res 20. Um, I got it written down. I'm not going to cheat. Yep. Get Res 20. Get you 20% off. Bringing these down to $2 a piece. If you buy them by the case, their website, Get Res bar.com. I'll put it up here. I'll put it in the description of this video. Um, but let's open this up to see how it tastes and then talk a little bit more about the details about what sets this bar apart. Assuming this thing even tastes good. Oh, look at that. It's even got a little nifty spot to tear it open. All right, so there's the protein bar. You can see it is smaller in size and thinner in size, but this is gonna be like a snack. It's only coming at 160 calories. Let's see how it tastes first and foremost. All right, I'm chewing with my mouth full. Very, very good. First and foremost, it is layered and it tastes really nice. You get that chocolate layer on the top with the peanut butter and you can a hint of those dates very good chewability. I know it's not really a word. Chew's very nice. I will say, tastes good. No bad aftertaste. Very moist. People don't like to use that word. Very moist. It's not like dry or chalky. Super, super nice. I could definitely see, I need a snack. I'm on the go or I'm in the car. I want something to kind of hold me over so I'm not hitting the drive through um, Or if you've got kids and you've got to just get on with your day, boom, put one of these things down. Really, really good taste. I want to take another bite, but then I'm not going to be able to actually talk. Let's go over a few facts just to kind of show you what separates this Res Bar from a lot of the other kind of like 
let's just say junk protein bars out there. Here we go. Low carb, low sugar, low calorie. 160 cal- I'm not going to call that low calorie. 160 calories for that size bar. Not low calorie, but definitely in the, ro- ro- uh, in the world of reasonability, okay? It's a very reasonable size bar for 160 calories, considering there's no fake, there's no fake sugars, there's no sugar alcohol, there's no, it's, it's whole food, which is ideal. When you are supplementing with your food sources, you want to really try to get as much whole food sources as you can, and that's what this res bar does. High protein. I'm going to say 10 grams is not high protein, but for the size of the bar, 10 grams, considering it's coming from a natural food source, yeah, we'll, we'll go medium protein. But overall, um, that's 10 grams of protein is better than a lot of the other junk out there. Keto-friendly, vegetarian and plant-based. Now, that's huge. A lot of people are trying to go vegetarian. A lot of people are trying to eat less um, meat products. So that is nice that it is vegetarian and plant-based. No cholesterol, no sodium, gluten-free, organic, and non-GMO. Now, a lot of that stuff I don't necessarily care about. The two things that stand out out of that whole list that they sent me that's big to me is one, whole food sources. I, even though I review tons of supplements on my NoFay 24-7 channel, I'm very big on trying to get as much food as possible from whole food sources. And even though this is a protein bar, it's still coming from whole food food sources. Good amount of fiber in there, which means it's going to digest slower, make you feel fuller longer. And man, I'm a fan of the peanut butter and that chocolate. Again, tastes really good. Two bucks a bar, reasonable. Two bucks a bar for a whole food source is certainly reasonable. Compared to a lot of the junk that's out there, is it higher priced? A little bit, but guess what? It's a whole food source. It's not junk. And at the end of the day, you want to be gravitating towards as much whole food sources in your diet as possible. Hopefully you found this informative, huge fan of the flavor, huge fan of not only their stickers, but their packaging. Uh, And again, I usually don't normally speak to the packaging, but definitely, definitely good packaging. Good job overall. Big fan of their ingredients panel because it is whole food sources. None of that smoke and mirrors with like uh, with like sugar alcohol, where a lot of protein bars try to say that they don't have any sugar and then dump in like 20 grams of sugar alcohol. So great job by GetResBar.com. If you came this far in the video, what can you do? Give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, let me know you checked in. Okay, that helps me out, it helps the channel grow, and I love to know who actually stopped by. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back.